This video shows how to operate the pure photonics tunable laser um, through our command line interface. First we want to make sure that our laser is installed properly. Either uh, we install it through an RS-222 interface, which means it's on COM port 1. Uh, this computer doesn't have a COM port 1 and so we use a USB interface. Uh, it's right now installed as USB interface with the COM port number 4. Uh, What, um, what we want to do is we want to start the PureFotonics CLI. Uh, PureFotonics CLI is executable in a directory uh, wherever you install the directory. Um, the PureFotonics CLI can be downloaded from our download page on our web page. Uh, so we start this program by double clicking it. I'll maximize it. And it is very simple to connect to a laser. So we say it.connect4 for the COM port and the baud rate 9600. The baud rate of most of our products, actually all of our products, uh, starts off 9600. Of course, you can set the baud rate at any rate you want it, and you can actually use the gen config command to actually change that baud rate. Note that if you change the baud rate and you try to connect with uh, uh, this command, it will fail uh, just because the baud rate doesn't match what, uh, what the unit has. Uh, for example, we can change the baud rate so uh, like this in this way. Uh, so this is the fast baud rate. Uh, as you can see, uh, we communicate to the laser uh, through commands. So it dot, uh, and then all of the commands are kind of listed here that you want to use. Uh, for example, we can use laser. We can get uh, unit parameters. We can get a uh, serial number. For example, this is CRTN HBD03V. Uh, we can get uh, manufacturing date. We can get um, uh, release the firmware version, 8.0.9 in this case. Uh, we can see what the uh, frequency range is, IT.laser frequency low, 191.5 terahertz, IT.laser frequency high. Uh, 196.25 terahertz. We can see the same thing on the power, IT dot uh, OPS low, ops, operation power low, and 600 IT dot ops, ops high, it's uh, 1800 in this case, 18 dBm. Note that a lot of these registers are read only. Uh, we also have a, a read and write register, for example, IT dot power. We can read it's right now set at a power level 16 dBm uh, once we start it up. But we can change that to uh, 1300, for example, for 13 dBm, or we can change it to 1000 for, 1000, uh, for 10 dBm. And then if we read the register, it shows the right value. Uh, it's the same thing with uh, laser frequency. Laser frequency laser frequency reads out the laser frequency of the laser itself. We can set the laser frequency by uh, IDFCF, first channel frequency, um, and we can set it to 193.4, 1550 nanometers. If we then read this register, then it reads that. Uh, note that the way frequency is calculated in this uh, laser is that we have a first channel frequency, which is corresponds to channel 1, and then there's a grid. Uh, so typically in telecom world you have 50 gigahertz grid and so uh, channel 2 is 50 gigahertz higher, uh, channel 3 is 100 gigahertz higher than the first channel frequency. Uh, for sensing and scientific uh, applications uh, we recommend to just forget about the grid feature and just use the FCF uh, uh, at all cases to set the frequency and keep channel at 1. If we want to uh, read the laser state, we do it.nop, for example, uh, that says that no, and we see no pending bits, um, which means that the laser is waiting for a comment. We can also read status registers, it.statusf, well, status w is warning, uh, it.statusf is fatal. And you can see here uh, there are a couple of latching bits, uh, which are uh, which means that at some point in the past uh, that warning or fatal bit was raised uh, but now it may not be anymore and uh, we may want to uh, um, set those back to zero uh, but anyway um, for example if we want to activate the laser we do it.resena senna 
equal one. And now we see a comment pending, and if we do OOP, the output power, we can see that the we can say that the laser uh, slowly goes up to the 10 dBm output power. Um, and NOP right now it is zero. Uh, let me do that again. I did it with Senna. Senna equals zero to turn the laser off. Then I can do this again. Uh, read the NOP. The NOP right now will show pending while the laser is increasing in output power. And once it's there, it will it will drop the pending bit. Right now it's still on, and right now it's off. Once the pending bit is, dro is dropped, we can do other things. We can do IT.FTF, which is in operation adjustment of the frequency. So, for example, I now move the laser by about 400 uh, megahertz, and we can do that in resolutions of one megahertz. I can also change the power level. Uh, for example, of styles, we can go to 1100, uh, 11 dBm. We recommend to make changes in uh, smaller steps, not uh, huge steps, but uh, you can change the power at, at will. And we can read it out. OOP is right now at uh, 11 dBm. IT.FCF, the uh, sorry, uh, FTF, the frequency offset is 400 megahertz. Then for pure photonics, we can go to the clean modes clean mode 2 and now the laser will be in the clean mode you can read it so two, which means that uh, all of the uh, control loops have been um, disabled and we have much lower power levels than the tel than what we had in the telecom mode the dinner mode uh, this is kind of the mode where uh, which you would want to use for sensing and scientific applications uh, you will note that in the clean mode you can't change the power level but you can change the frequency offset again especially in this mode we recommend to do this slowly but it can be done and so this is how you can change that um, other modes like um, IT dot um, we can for example do the clean sweep clean sweep amplitude set that to 30 gigahertz I do the clean sweep enable turn it on and now you can see that IT dot IT dot clean sweep offsets reads different values all the time. So this means that it is cons cons consistently uh, changing the frequency. So 10.8 gigahertz minus 4.6 gigahertz uh, on 0 gigahertz 12.9 gigahertz minus 10.6 gigahertz and so at this point the laser will be scanning over those frequencies in the low noise mode we can shut it down enable zero we can uh, shut down the clean mode to zero and then uh, shut down the laser